what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez back with another prize picks player props video for you today's friday december 22nd 2023 as always hope this finds you doing well and in good spirits happy friday to you all happy protected friday protected play friday i should say to you all we got a nice promo going on today as part of prize picks 12 days of picks miss always nice to be working with a protected play on a friday with nba uh, games to play around with uh, and remember these protected plays can cover games not uh, These games don't have to be from today. They can be uh, for this weekend's NFL slate. So Should be a lot of fun building out a slip today with that protected play I got two plays to talk about in today's video as well as uh, we'll be recapping a couple of names that we talked about in yesterday's live stream speaking of live streams Today's live stream will be pushed back to 1.15 p.m. Got a few things I got to take care of this morning. So definitely wanted to give the live stream this, its proper time. Didn't want to rush it out this morning. So instead, I wanted to do a quick video and then uh, we'll do that live stream later in the afternoon and dig into way more plays than just these two plays. So if all that sounds good to you, stick around, drop a like, sub up and click that notification icon so that you are notified of all upcoming content just like this from me and my channel and without further delay let's get into a few plays that we talked about from yesterday all right first play that i wanted to mention was this deandre eight and 14 and a half points prop uh took taking the over on this one i mentioned this yesterday boy he had a a really strong game as a uh as we talked about this game should be a uh, fairly uh high scoring somewhat entertaining between two bad teams and it, it was exactly that so uh, i was really hoping for some overtime because i wanted to see uh a couple of other props that i that i placed in a slip hit but uh they did not go to overtime but deandre ayton went over 14 and a half points by a mile so this was no sweat at all and this was actually brought to my attention by one of my discord members ben ben put this on my radar super super early uh, in the researching process and um, I, I thought it was a great play so I went with it and I told him that if I if I decided to roll with this play then I would mention him in the videos and stream so big shout out to Ben as DeAndre Ayton finished with 23 points goes well over this point prop the second player that I talked about in the video was Jordan Poole I didn't really have a, a player prop that I was targeting I was more so targeting the game environment as I felt this would be a a good environment for him to do a few good things and um, man he just didn't do anything yesterday he had a couple of props that were really standing out his rebounds prop was really popping and also his pra was so low at 22.5 and believe it or not he failed to hit either of those he is just wildly inefficient inconsistent and um yeah, targeting the game environment more so than targeting the player. Who knows? Maybe he's saving himself uh, for the Golden State game tonight. Maybe he needed to preserve his energy, his energy levels for tonight's game versus the Warriors. He's probably going to get ejected in the first quarter doing some stupid shit. But uh, I'm not playing him tonight. I uh, just thought it was a great game environment yesterday, and I wanted to target a couple of player props. And it just did not work out. So we move on to a new day with new plays to talk about i got two of them to share with you before we get into those let's quickly quickly update ourselves on injury news going on in the nba all right injury news is as follows we got some big names on the on the players confirmed out list so luca is out jimmy butler is out we have bradley beal out nurkic is out we know draymond remains out Kyrie is out exum like the whole starting five for the mavericks is out basically and nick batum remains out probable we have roco aaron gordon dsj and then you have your q tags right there uh i guess headlined by the anthony melton and seth curry but uh, the big names are there at the very bottom. You can see the players that have already been confirmed out. So this should definitely open up a lot of value on the player prop board. As always, keep your eyes open as this injury news should change throughout the day. All right, now we get into our player prop portion of the video. All player prop research brought to you by props.cash. If you have any interest in using props.cash for your own researching purposes, you can do so by signing up using my promo code. Thanks 25. Take advantage of that. 
save some money in your, on your first month check it out uh it's what i use for every video it's what i use for all my live streams all my personal player prop research i use props.cast so any questions about that drop a comment below all right first player prop i want to talk about is this nick claxton rebounds and assist sitting at nine and a half I like the over on this one. And we're gonna stick in the same game and talk about Contavious Caldwell Pope. Liking the over 10.5 points and rebounds. His profile picture is super blurry. Um, I'm just looking at it right now. He looks like he's uh, it's just heavily pixelated or something. It looks like 8-bit graphics. It looks like a uh, Super Nintendo or something, but we're rolling with it nonetheless it's already on the damn screen so we're rolling with it we're gonna talk about Caldwell Pope 10.5 points and rebounds I like the over on this one we're gonna take these two plays we're gonna head over to props.cash and we're gonna break them down all right let's pull up Contavious Caldwell Pope's 10 game log checking out his points and rebounds you can see he has an 80 percent hit rate over that time span over his last five games he has an 80 percent hit rate as well I'm gonna take a look at his head-to-head -head matches versus the Brooklyn Nets He's gone one and one. Both of these games were played last season, so no games this year to speak of. I had to change this. Uh, I had to uh, toggle the the line a little bit because it is set to 11 and a half on the books. Plus 105, plus 100 are your uh, are your odds. So the projections are not going to show anything favorable because this is all based off these numbers. But when we bring this down, it does change a lot. It changes his head-to-head -head match. It changes uh, a couple of games in his 10 game log as well. And then it changes that one game in his uh, five game log. So numbers improve when we bring that number down. It's it, it's at a good spot. Taking on a Brooklyn defense that is, uh, I guess, middle of the road in pretty much everything. 19th in points allowed, 21st in rebounds allowed, 14th in assist. And then you can see the three point percentage is uh, middle of the road, but they are allowing uh, 14 three-pointers made per game so they will give up the three-pointer made uh, looks like it's taking teams a fair amount of shots to get there though because the percentage is a little lower a uh, little low uh, so 37% right there this is a good matchup for uh, for KCP this is popping out to me it was already uh, posted in the disc it's been posted in the discord I should say got to these plays last night put, uh, put them in my discord in my channel and put these in a two pick power so i am all over this play i like it i think it will get bumped at some point today but um, if it does get bumped you can also look to kcp's points and assists because this is actually set to the exact same line 10 and a half so i like the over on his points and rebounds and that's what we're going to roll with for our first play of today all right moving into our last play nick claxton taking the over 9.5 rebounds and assists we don't have to do anything to this line because the line is set correctly getting minus 125 on the over plus or excuse me minus 101 on the under taking a look at his last five games he's hit this in three of those five games taking a look at his last 10 games he's hit this in 70 percent of his uh 10 games here and then head to head versus the nuggets he does have one matchup with them this season and he hit 11 rebounds and assists Looking back to last season, he was one and one. So again, 11 and then nine, averaging 10 rebounds and assist versus the Nuggets. We've come to see teams keep it close with Denver. We've seen Denver let teams stick around or just get flat out beat by teams they should be beating. Nick Claxton has pretty good history against Jokic, against the Nuggets. I think this is a good environment for him. I'm not scared at all uh, by this matchup. I think Nick Claxton can grab, honestly can get you nine rebounds today and dish out one assist if you want to take a look at what the individual lines look like his rebounds are set to eight and a half with slight juice to the over so it is uh it's likely it's it's likely he gets you nine rebounds and then in terms of his assist uh looking a little worse than um than i want but minus 174 on the unders basically projecting him for zero assist he's good for one assist a game looking at his last 10 games he's averaging one point three and looking at his last five games he's averaging 1.2 in his head-to-head -head matchups he is averaging 2.7 assists so i think he's good for an assist i think he's good for nine rebounds today and that gets him over the 9.5 rebounds and assist those are just a few reasons why i like the over on this so we're rolling with it second play of the video second play of the day we're taking the over nine and a half rebounds and assists for nicholas claxton and ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it 
for today's player prop video. All right, if you made it this far, you have better made it this far. Very short video, sub up to the channel, click that like button, drop a comment, let me know what you like about these plays or what you like on the board in general. Remember, we're doing a live stream this afternoon, 1.15 p.m. We uh, will dig into way more plays than just these two plays, but uh, definitely want to get a quick video out to you this early, uh, or this a.m. Before, uh, before I get started with my day. So hit that like button, drop the comments, hit the sub button, you know, over 70% uh, of you uh, who watch my videos are not subbed up to the channel. I'd, I would really, really like to improve those numbers. So help me improve those numbers by clicking that sub button. Last but not least, regardless of the player props you roll with mine, your own, whatever YouTube channel you watch, I just hope that your props respect the damn coin. Best of luck to you all. And until today's, this afternoon's live stream, Chavez is 